Hey guys, Ali here. Hope you guys are all doing well. I uh, just wanted to make a Facebook Live today about something which really shifted um, you know, my, my life. And, and that's just a story that I once, or should I say more a perspective, um, that I once heard from one of, my, one of my good friends. And he said to me, look, imagine you had a million dollars in the bank account and your name was Richard Branson. Or if you were a really sort of poor kid from a township and you had a million dollars in the bank account, what would the difference be when the money's the same? Well, Richard Branson would feel poor and the kid in the township would feel really wealthy. But the thing is, it's the same amount of money, right? So what actually changed is simply the perception, right? It's actually never about the money that creates wealth. It's about our perception. So wealth is nothing but the perception of abundance. And if you can start to understand that, you, you'll realize that your financial bank account actually follows your emotional bank account. And that's one of the biggest secrets to wealth is understanding that money actually follows feeling, not the other way around. And the problem is most people get paid and then they feel good and then halfway through the month, the money runs out. And what happens? They feel broke. They have more month at the end of the month than money. And this cycle is vicious and it perpetuates itself. And month after month, year after year becomes decade after decade. And they never reach financial freedom. Because they fail to understand that your financial bank account follows your emotional bank account. Not the other way around. So most people are letting their financial situation dictate how they feel. When they have money, they feel good. When they don't have money, they don't feel good. And that's a recipe for, you know, disaster. If you guys want to get to a position in your life where money is something you never worry about, focus more on how you feel. Focus on what you can be grateful for. And money will actually start to find you. Opportunities that will lead to you creating more abundance in all areas of your life will find you because you know you guys know um, I'm a big believer that we're vibrational beings right so thoughts become things it's not even a question anymore science has proven that thoughts are energetic instructions right so what you think about you bring about we all know this right call it the law of attraction call it God call it the universe that's not for my place to to judge everyone has their own beliefs and I respect that but they are they are fundamental laws that govern you know this universe this reality that we live in and I can tell you right now that gratitude is one of the most powerful ways to bring wealth and abundance into your life so just remember that story a million rand in the bank or million dollars in the bank it's the same amount of money but in the hands of somebody like Richard Branson he would feel broke for him it's nothing but in the hands of a little boy in a township, that little boy would feel incredibly wealthy. So it's never the money. It's how you perceive it. It's the perception of abundance that leads to the feeling of wealth, which then attracts more wealth into your life. So a really simple exercise that I'll leave you guys with um, is actually sitting down and writing out a list of 100 plus things you can be grateful for. What this does is it shifts your baseline vibration and helps you to focus on what you actually have in your life and then keep adding to that list on a daily basis. You know, every single day, add three, four, five things um, to it that you can be grateful for and build on it, right? And that will start to shift your baseline frequency to one of gratitude as opposed to one of lack and scarcity. And that will end up actually changing the situations, the events, Right? and the people and the opportunities ultimately that you attract into your life. Right? So just remember that because it's so, so powerful. I'll never forget I was um, earning about $500 a month as a tennis coach when I came off the tour. Um, really didn't know how I was going to uh, earn uh, more money, but I focused on just feeling wealthy. Even though I only earned that amount of money, I chose to look at... The fact that I at least had an income. Some people didn't, right? And I was grateful for it and grateful for, for absolutely anything I could find to be grateful for, right? 
And what happened is within about six months, I got an opportunity which led to me, um, you know, 10xing my income in literally, you know, straight away as soon as I got that opportunity at that time in my life. So my income 10xed, right, without going and learning anything new, without having to look or try to find the job, you know, I didn't have to do anything in the outer world. I focused purely on my inner world of just feeling wealthy and believing and creating that abundant vibration in me through focusing on what I had, what I could be grateful for and constantly making sure that that emotional bank account was always full. And eventually what happened, the financial bank account had to come up and match that emotional bank account. So, so super, super powerful concept, guys, is just remember that the emotional is what leads the financial, right? Focus on, on what you can be grateful for. That'll fill up that emotional bank account. Do so on a daily basis and watch how your financial situation will magically start to improve, right? That outer world will start to match your inner world of thoughts and feelings. So hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this video. Um, I'll make a few more Facebook Lives like I've promised. Sorry I haven't made for a few days. Um, beautiful day here in South Africa. Show you guys, for those of you who are all over the world, this is my office today. Got to, got to work and do an online-based business if you want this type of lifestyle. Right? I couldn't sit in the office. To all of you that do, high five. <laughs> Just not for me. Hope you guys have a beautiful day and uh, see you all soon.